Well, this morning we're joined by Justin Patton. He's the president and founder of Body Lytics. Justin's here to talk about body language and how it can help you communicate better. Good morning. Thanks for, for joining us. So tell us, because body language is important in presenting yourself. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning. So, you know, a lot of people's, you know, your success in business and your success in your personal life is a lot on how you communicate with other people. Yeah. So I'm going to give you three tips today about how to increase your likability factor when talking with other people. So I got a question for you. Okay. Ready for this? Okay. What would you think is the most honest part of the body? Your eyes. Yeah, 98% of all these classes I teach around the country, right? People say to your face, your eyes. We probably lie with our face the most. It's actually your feet. Your feet are one of the most oh. honest parts of the body because they will always face the direction you're most interested. So when you're trying to think about, yeah, turn over here, right? <laughs> When you're really trying to communicate with people and you want to make someone feel validated, yeah. like I understand you, I get you, at least have your feet directly pointed towards them or at least at an angle. Mm -hmm. it, it sends the message that I'm interested in what you have to say. So that's the first thing. So when you're talking with people, make sure your feet are your pointed. feet towards them. Okay. I'll Got it. it. Second. So one thing that you always do, somebody asks you, who do you think is better reading body language, men or women? Women. Hands down. Men, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> it's always women, we right? We do it for a living, don't right? we? Got it. So women are hands down, study after study, better at reading body language than men. One of the biggest differences is what you're doing right now. So women, a lot of times when they communicate with people, they tend to tilt their head and they'll nod wow. as you're talking. Yeah. So when women do that, what are they typically saying when they, when they do that? I'm engaged in the conversation. Exactly. I'm on your track. Right. I get you. Yeah. I understand. Tell me more about that. And men typically do not do this. So men, this is going to be a struggle for you as we're talking about this, right? So men typically will just look straight forward and the only time that they typically nod is when they agree with something. Okay. So what I tell people and sometimes I, when I coach men I'm like I would like for you as you try to work with someone else tilt your head and nod occasionally because it gives that message I care about what you're saying tell me more of that and the more information you can get out of somebody the better informed the decision you can make. And so what's the third thing? Last thing is, is look for hot spots in people's body language. So these hot spots are when people get uncomfortable, they tend to do pacifying gestures. So they might rub their cuticles. Women tend to rub their neck dimple or play with their jewelry. Men might adjust their tie or play with their watch. When you see that behavior, I want you to step back and I want you to ask one question. You might say, Catherine, is there a reason why when we were talking about this topic that, I, that you might have been uncomfortable? Mm -hmm. And then give that person the permission to say no or yes. And those three things will help you increase your likability factor and increase the way you're communicating with other people. I like it. It's important. It's important. Engage in the conversation. Point your feet towards the person. <laughs> well, it. thank you, Justin. Thank we you appreciate Justin. it. Thanks for waking up with us. Now you know. Point your feet. Look at them. Nod. See? It can be interesting. All right. Thanks, Justin. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you.